Imagine standing in a wide hall with long columns with clean dresses and white shoes. On the throne in the far corner of the hall you see the figure of Osiris, the god of the underworld. You are surrounded by forty-two gods and various mummies. In front of you is the god Thoth in the form of a baboon. He is sitting on the scale that will decide your fate very shortly. This balance will determine your life in the other world. In short, you are on the day of your trial. If you do not pass the exam, you will experience a second death very painfully. The second death is the worst thing that can happen to you. Because the death of the soul means the end of your existence in the universe. But you are not afraid at all. Because you have the Book of the Dead in your hand. The texts written in this book give you some secrets to survive in the afterlife. Come, let's take a closer look at the otherworldly understanding of ancient Egypt based on the texts written in this Book of the Dead. The ancient Egyptians defined the life after death as a journey to heaven. However, this was a dangerous journey. There should always be a guide book next to the spirits. The text called the Book of the Dead was not a finite book. Although it was not a compilation of any doctrine, it also did not declare a belief. The book would only offer some secrets that would help the souls in the other world. The so-called book actually consisted of a papyrus roll with very beautiful pictures written in hieroglyphics. For the people of ancient Egypt, rituals surrounding death were an integral part of the culture. Many of the remains that have survived from the ancient Egyptian world, such as pyramids, mummies and tombs, reveal that people have a strong perception of the other world. Spells and formulas that can help people who have died in the other world were first seen on the wall of pyramids from the Egyptian 5th dynasty period around 2350 BC. About 400 years later, these inscriptions on the pyramids began to be written on coffins, tombstones and papyrus papers. After 1550 BC, the illustrated magic collection written on papyrus pages began to replace the coffin texts. The texts we mentioned above, called the Book of the Dead, are actually collections of magic written on papyrus pages. The Book of the Dead continued to be used for 1,500 years, even though there were huge changes in the country. There was no standard text of the Book of the Dead prepared by the ancient Egyptian people. Each manuscript contained different texts. Thousands of books of the dead have survived from that period to the present day. But none of these texts are similar to each other. These books, carefully written and carefully illustrated, were found only in the graves of rich people. It was an additional luxury to support eternal life and learn survival tips in the other world. The poor people did not necessarily have to have these books. Putting the Book of the Dead in the grave was a luxurious ritual for the rich. The Egyptians thought that after death, the soul, called Ba, left the body for a temporary period. Ba was periodically returning to the body. Therefore, the body had to be intact. Due to the belief that the soul and body periodically merge, a complex embalming process has developed. Because if the body of the deceased person could not be protected, his life in the other world would be endangered. If Ba faced any danger, he could get help from the Book of the Dead. For this reason, books were usually placed in the coffin. Sometimes even wrapped in the mummy's bandage. The Egyptian people imagined the other world as a dangerous place full of wild animals and monsters. The public thought that an exaggerated version of the wild animals they encountered in the real world also existed in the other world. Therefore, they needed magic to fight snakes, crocodiles, insects and scary monsters known as the creature that swallows ass. At the same time, frightening servants of the god Osiris could be encountered in the other world. Fortunately, the Book of the Dead was a great guide for fighting evil, escaping traps and surviving. The Book of the Dead didn't just teach you how to fight monsters. At the same time, he was giving some advice in the other world, such as not to eat feces and not to drink urine. In order for the soul to pass through the gates in the other world one by one, it was necessary to have knowledge about the guards at the gates. The Egyptian people believed that on the way to the eternal habitat, 
the soul would pass through a path where there were various gates. According to the Book of the Dead, there were many gates on this road that you had to pass through. The doors were guarded by a fearful deity. How to get through these doors was the main topic of the Book of the Dead. For example, Ba, that is, the soul approached the sixth gate. For Ba, who is approaching the sixth gate from the Book of the Dead, it is recommended to say, Make a way for me, because I know you, I know your name, and I know the name of the God who protects you. Lady of Darkness, my name is a name greater than yours in the path of righteousness, stronger than yours. After the gate passing exams, there was the Great Hall exam, where life on earth was judged. After Ba answered the question of the 42 mummified gods in the hall, he would approach the scale under the leadership of the god Anubis. The image of truth on one scale would be the heart of Ba on the other. If he had been a good person in life on earth, the scales would have been balanced and a rosy future awaited Ba. But if the scales were not balanced, he would move on to a large hall with monsters in the next stage. When the process was completed, you would either sail into the sky with the sun god Ra or go to the terrible world of the underworld god Osiris. What do you think about the Book of the Dead? Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Goodbye to see you in my new video.